Live right here on this Monday, following our first full Sunday slate in week number one around the National Football League. This is how you know it's football season on the early line. The injury insight and analysis from around the National Football League with the pro football doc himself, Dr. David Chow, joining us here on this Monday. Dr. Chow, glad to have you back for yet another football season. Excited to talk each and every week throughout this NFL campaign. Uh, great to be back. Uh, it was nice to be back in the war room. We were in there on Sunday with everybody watching all the games, especially the early games, eight of them. And after the first set of games, we looked around and into the second set, we're like, boy, this is like the healthiest Sunday ever of NFL football. And of course, then it starts to swing the other way. It, it yeah. never ceases to amaze me, the NFL. A couple of significant injuries later in the afternoon on Sunday. But Doc, before we get to the first full Sunday slate, Let's go back to Friday night in Sao Paulo as the Packers were trying to come back late in the fourth quarter. Jordan Love injured his knee and was out. The Packers are saying right now it's an injury to the MCL. He avoids what many feared an ACL tear that would have ended his season. What did you see on the play in Brazil? What is the timetable in your estimation for Jordan Love to return to the field? Now, full disclosure, I took my son to a high school football game, so I was watching on my iPad and with the crowd around me, et cetera, and obviously very late in the game. But we never expected or suspected or worried about an ACL tear. It just wasn't the right mechanism. From the get-go, we said this is a injury where he's likely to miss some time, but it's not surgery. And I still think, and I thought initially, and I still think he has a chance to avoid injured reserve. Now, technically, the Packers really haven't said much of anything yet. They haven't had to. There's no official media reporting. It's reporters saying it. By video, he got his left ankle trapped, which can lead to a mild high ankle. That's what we were saying. And the associated injury was the MCL, and that often comes in combination. And the pop that everyone focused on the knee, we never thought was that big of a deal. It was a temporary shifting of the kneecap as a result of the MCL. Right now, Look, it's definitely no surgery. It's not season ending. Let's rejoice in that. The question is when. Look, with him being a quarterback, lead leg, they often wear braces. I don't think it's impossible, and it would be a Packers dream to have him back week four. I think they play the division rival Vikings then. That's not unheard of. If he goes out in IR, he won't be back till week six at the earliest. So if there's any chance that love can return before missing four games the packers will not put him on injured reserve but they obviously have to make a move at quarterback are they really going to start malik willis who's just got there and is learning the system yeah that's certainly one to watch here for sure let's take a look at josh allen another quarterback banged up his non-throwing hand now after the game doc he said i'm not a doctor i think i'm fine doc you're a doctor tell us is he fine <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I I play one through the TV. Yes, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Yes, I took care of these guys. And yes, you you look at that big wrap. But here's the thing he has going for him. First of all, it's the non-throwing hand. Second of all, he clearly finished the game. It happened pretty early. The video that we saw was on his touchdown diving run, where he actually was the ultimate friendly fire injury. It wasn't from a teammate. It was from his right elbow landing on his left hand as he was protecting and carrying the ball. And that's a contusion. Uh, There hasn't been a lot of word. I don't see how that's a fracture. It's his non-throwing hand. We don't have him downgraded in terms of his six score. I get it. It's a quick turnaround for a Thursday game. But we always like delivering optimism, whether it's on Jordan Love, when everyone thinks the season's over, or on Josh Allen. And we're optimistic on Josh Allen and hope to be correct. Quick turnaround for week number two to kick off on a Thursday night in Miami. The Dolphins and the Bills with the Finns currently a two-point favorite. Yesterday, Dr. Chow, the Rams offense was looking good early. Both Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua involved. He had four grabs in the first half for just over 30 yards, was injured, came back in briefly, and then had to be carted off in Sunday night football in Detroit. What do you think Puka Nakua's status is moving forward for L.A.? 
Well, you know, people make a lot out of the carted off. That seemed like he had carted off of convenience rather than necessity, right? That wasn't like an air cast. But here's the thing we've been saying all preseason. We haven't talked to you guys, Ben and Donnie, in a little bit, but all preseason, including our preseason injury preview at SIC score, we were pessimistic on Puka Nakua's injury to the same right knee of that being a nothing, just a bursa, and that's it as per Sean McVay. Uh, We felt there could be a small PCL component. This is the same right knee without a lot of video. And this is why we were saying under futures on Puka for the season, because that PCL can linger. We have no reports right now. And whatever Sean McVay says says later on today, and the Rams say, sure, we'll, we'll follow along. But we all know about coach speak. We're still worried about Puka that this is related to the preseason right knee injury. Doc, if we take a look and fast forward to tonight, we got a great turnout, it looks like, for the Jets and the 49ers. Give us any concerns that you might have on either side of the football tonight. Well, zero concern about Aaron Rodgers. Zero concern Mm -hmm. about Brees Hall. As a matter of fact, we have a new fantasy calculator that takes into effect the health of the offensive line against the health of the defense, and he's supposed to boom tonight. Uh, You know, Mm -hmm. offensively, Completely green for the Jets. Defensively, com- basically completely green on our field view for the Jets. The 49ers have some issues. Besides Brandon Ayuk just coming back, besides Trent Williams, you know, just coming back, are they in game shape yet? No Dre Greenlaw. Hafunga sort of a chronic issue at this point in time. The Jets are the healthier side for this matchup, and hopefully nothing happens four plays into the game like last year. That would be the concern for the New York Jets. They are hoping to avoid deja vu. There you saw the field views at SICscore.com. That's what Dr. David Chow and his team run. It is a great resource from injury perspective, health status of the entirety of a team entering a huge matchup like we have on this Monday. Sports Injury Central and SICscore.com. Dr. David Chow, the first of many throughout this 2024 NFL season. We appreciate the time. Thank you very much.